In the last study of the day, we looked at breaking down the myth that parasite infections are only found in developing countries and that if you have undiagnosed low energy, insomnia, digestive concerns, it's really smart to investigate the role that parasites could be playing. Today we look at a study that will share information about one of my favorite superfoods, um, something that will improve your energy, improve your focus and concentration, and help with weight loss. Let's get into today's study of the day. Hi everyone, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel and another study of the day. Um, the mission of the channel is simple. I want to break down interesting, relevant medical research into digestible pieces that you can take into your daily lives to improve your health. And today we're going to look at a study called Green Tea, Intermittent Sprinting Exercise and Fat Oxidation. One of the missions of my practice is to share the message that food needs to be looked at as medicine. With every food choice, I find it helpful to ask the question, is this food medicine or is this food poison? It can really be that simple. With every choice, with every bite, is this something that's going to build my body up or is this something that's going to break my body down? So our work with diet it involves including as many foods that act as medicine and removing as many foods that act like, like a poison. But, but what is a medical food? Um, I like to think of a medical food um, as something that contains a, a micronutrient, a vitamin or a mineral, something that contains a macronutrient, like a carbohydrate, protein, or fat, and something that contains a phytochemical, something like resveratrol or beta-carotene or indole-3-carbonyl. So these are compounds that build our body up, not break it down. These are compounds that will drive our cells, not depress them. And they're compounds that will, will heal our tissues, not inflame them. Okay, so the aim of this current study was to investigate the combined effect of short-term green tea extract supplementation and a single session of intermittent sprint exercise on fat oxidation or, or on lipolysis or how the body breaks down fat. All right, so fat oxidation or lipolysis is something that happens in the, the fat cell here. This is the adipose tissue. Think of it like abdominal fat. And there's a process that is being stimulated here by green tea called lipolysis. And that is the breakdown of larger fat globules into triglycerides and into free fatty acids. And the free fatty acids then get taken up by the muscle and can be used for energy. So we've got green tea stimulating the breakdown through lipolysis of adipose tissue into triglycerides and free fatty acids for muscle fuel. Okay, so let's look at this experiment quickly. There were two, two groups, the experimental group, the green tea group, and the control group. The green tea group, the day before the exercise, took three capsules of green tea extract. The control group took three capsules of cellulose or a, or a placebo. On the day of the exercise, the green tea group took another capsule in the morning, and the placebo group took another capsule of cellulose. And then they measured fat, fat oxidation. What they found already at that point before the exercise that the green tea group was already burning 24% more fat oxidation than the control. And then they had them exercise. It was an intermittent sprinting exercise. And then they measured fat oxidation again and found that the green tea group increased fat oxidation by 29% versus the control. Okay, so what's the take home here? Um, First point is that taking green tea extract on its own showed an increased fat oxidation of about 24% compared to the placebo. And the second point, or the second take home, 
was that green tea extract taken before exercise, in this case it was an intermittent sprinting exercise, increases fat oxidation or fat burning by 29%. Okay, so the action this week is simple. Add in green tea matcha into your daily routine. You'll experience more energy, more focus, more concentration, and as this study showed, more fat burning. I like to take this green tea in, in, a, in a latte form. So you can take a teaspoon, one teaspoon of matcha powder and add it to a little bit of water and then about half a cup of, of sweetened or unsweetened almond milk. And one teaspoon of matcha contains about 183 milligrams of EGCG, um, which is one of the active or most active forms of, of the catechins in this, in this product. And that, that's about what this study was was supplementing with. Your other piece of homework then is to add in some intermittent sprinting or some intermittent biking um, and I can put a link um, to what that looks like in the bottom. So you would do green tea about 20 minutes before your your exercise. You would do about 20 minutes then of a sprinting, intermittent sprinting exercise and you would get into your day. So here's a question I want to leave with you. Why wouldn't you include a food in your daily routine that is constantly working towards keeping your optimal body weight. Thanks everyone for listening. That was today's study of the day. Green tea, intermittent sprinting, and fat oxidation. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them at the bottom and, and I'll be sure to, to get back to you.